Welcome to day four of the Local Patch Project. We're in Port Gordon and we're here to see the seal colony. We've been told that if you come at low tide, you can watch them coming out of the water and that it's quite a sight to behold. The seal colony here is made up of grey seals and common seals and they come up onto the beach pretty much every day at low tide. The locals say that they can be a bit wary of humans but in general they're not shy and that they can walk their dogs along the beach without any problem as long as they give the seals some space. Now we were hoping to come and see them come up onto the beach but we've arrived and they're already here. Seals are commonly associated with the sea but these marine mammals do spend part of their lives on land. Seals will haul themselves onto beaches to rest, get warm and dry, to molt and to breed. There's a thriving colony here, but as with all wildlife, seals are under threat from persecution and plastic pollution. Often, seals are blamed for a decline in local fish populations, particularly salmon, and so are shot by salmon farmers who have been known to say that the only good seal is a dead seal. But seals are not the ones responsible for a lack of fish. Studies have shown that this is solely due to overfishing because seals will eat a different kind of fish to the ones we are trying to catch. However, under Scottish law, it is still legal to shoot seals as long as you have a licence. But biologist and BBC presenter Lizzie Daly has called for an end to shooting seals, arguing that we are the ones invading their natural environment and that there are alternatives such as extra strong nets that effectively keep salmon separated from seals. But these nets are expensive for fish farmers, and so far there's been a reluctance to install them. And then there's plastic pollution. Plastic was an incredible invention, but we are now seeing the serious impact that this material can have on the environment. Plastic pollution is a very real issue for seals and for other marine wildlife. Horrible images have surfaced of animals eating plastic or getting entangled with litter. Recently, Images have surfaced on social media of seals with plastic rings stuck around their necks, resulting in death. It's great to see the seals doing so well here, but there are still things we can do to help. You can support fisheries that use alternative seal deterrents to shooting, like extra strong nets, and you can reduce the amount of single-use plastic in your life, like using a reusable water bottle, or by buying your fruit and veg without the packaging. Another way you can help is by cleaning up your local beach. Now, this may seem a bit daunting, but your beach clean only needs to be two minutes. We're gonna do one now. So let's see what we can pick up. Okay, so we found a bit of traffic cone, a lot of plastic, some glove, a paintbrush, and an old bird feeder, which I'm not going to get out because it's very rusty, but it's in there. Lots of rope, like I said, and a couple of cans. But they're now not on the beach, so we're going to go find a bin to put these in. It's been a great privilege to see so many seals here today. And we really encourage you to go and check out your local beaches, see some great wildlife, and if you can, do a two minute beach clean to help the environment. But that's it from us for today. We'll see you tomorrow when we wrap up this series of the Local Patch Project. Mm -hmm.